holes, <laughs> getting it into the holes is difficult. All the mess. You see what I'm doing? I'm putting engine guards on the mustache engine guards. Pico. Hey guys, welcome back. Took the bike out to this area. Today I'm gonna to be actually installing the mustache crash guard. Why even should I bother? As you recall, I got from Harley this flat out bar, the engine guard, straight, stylish, and I would say West, West Coast looking, West Coast style, flat out bar, which is an engine guard. Well, like always, I always tell you, for me, most important, is utility and looks form and function function it does form perfect as an engine guard it was designed by harley if that bike falls fairing won't be hurt the bags might be hurt but the handlebars won't be hurt nothing will be hurt that beautiful fairing won't be hurt but i like an engine guard also to serve as highway pegs and these really sit too high too high up look at it this is way too high so I was trying to look at uh, Santoro. I was looking at uh, Bunking, I think they're called. All are nice and good. They're way lower, but nothing works with the forward controls and the engine guards for the low rider soft tail frame. The mustache, mustache engine guards will be a great addition. So I'm gonna be installing it right now. <laughs> Okay, I'll only un, uh, un, like, unwrap this side. Let's start taking the, the flat out bar. T27. Both sides. T27. You know this one. With the T45. T45. I got this guy out with its washer. There was thread locker, it was a bit of a struggle. Well, it says CRV8, maybe it's the eight, eight millimeters, I'm not sure, but this is the Allen key that opened it, the socket. Now the other side. In order to access those bolts right down there, I can't get a socket in, so I need to drop this bolt, take it out so this whole thing can drop and move aside. And this is what it takes, three eighths. So once this bolt is out, right here, this bolt, let me take it out. This whole assembly can be moved. Once we move it, we can fit a socket inside there, open these, those two bolts. I used a nine sixteenth 9 16th over here to get this bolt out. Now I'm gonna take the second one out right there in the back. 9 16th socket. And the second one is off. This whole thing comes off the flat out bar. I can tell you something, it's pretty heavy. It's very heavy. These bolts go back in right there, back on. And now we're gonna put the two bolts that goes, go for the engine mount. I had to release to un, uh, unscrew these so I get some wiggle with this plate. Loosen it up so it moves and then it's easier to get the Allen bolts in, tighten these two, and at the end, tighten the top. bottom part of the engine guard mounts over here right here so they have currently plugs plastic plugs that you need to take out on both sides and then they're bolts in over here exactly on the other side and one bolt over here 
So let me take the plastic ones out. Okay, I got the, the plastic bolts out and I use WD-40 over here to clean up. This whole area is a bit rusty because don't forget it's uh, it, there are plugs before that and water build up a little bit moisture. So it won't be easy to drive these bolts in. So I highly recommend WD-40 a little bit or clean it up somehow. Now let's mount the bar. So make sure you cover the front fender because we're going to run the bar from one side to the other. Three points. It's going to be one here, one on the bottom, and one on the other side. That's what we're doing. Hard lesson learned. Don't try to put the top on. It's tempting to put the top on first. Align the bottoms, put the two bolts on the bottom, get them tightened initially, both sides, right there. Once that's done, now you go to the top and hang it from here. Look who came to visit me. Look who came to visit me while I'm working here. Such a good girl. Say hello to everybody. Tell them that's not that difficult, huh? With all the mess. You see what I'm doing? I'm putting engine guards on the mustache engine guards pico where are you going want to help you over here yeah want to help me come over here help me we're putting this back together huh you want to help yeah put this one in okay and then then you'll go home it's really hot outside right yeah okay smelling my bike smelling gray ghost good dog okay we're almost done so I'll tell you what it is. It's not complicated. It's just pretty much getting this, the, the mustache, the mustache uh, engine guard is a tight fit. It's like very precise. So it fits on, it mounts onto the frame and maybe it flexed a little bit during manufacturing. So getting uh, the holes, <laughs> getting it into the holes is difficult. Uh, I, again, like I said, start with this then go to the other one, other side, and then hang the top. Then hang the top, slowly, patiently, slowly, patiently, drill it in, bolt it in. Now let's finish up with uh, this, putting the bracket on the bottom and mounting the, the, uh, the, what do you call it? The horn back up again. And then I'll clean it up and show you a little walk around pretty much complete but before before I would do the walk around let me clean up over here and let me uh, touch up the bike a little bit with uh, this waterless wash and shine by Philogenics. my buddy FNR had a review about it uh, he did he, he cleaned his bike a few days ago it worked beautifully so I'm gonna try it also I'll have a link down by the description I picked it up on Amazon you can pick it up over there let me clean up the bike walk around and you tell me what you think So guys, let me stop you for a second. You see that tour pack right there? That's an Advan Black tour pack. And currently I'm running a raffle on my website, www.holyshift.us. Head out, grab any piece of merchandise, sticker, hat, t-shirt, whatever, and you're automatically entered into the raffle. And the winner is gonna be getting any choice, any tour pack you want, any color, color matched, and it's going to be shipping worldwide. So the winner in a month and a half from now is going to be raffled. And the winner is going to be getting anywhere in the world that tour pack. You can choose the king size, chop, razor tour pack. Your choice. Go ahead to the website. Sorry, go ahead. Get back to the video. Smells like bubble gum. Yeah, this 
works. This was brand new before I started uh, the wash. So apparently it works and it smells good. Let me do a walk around now. As you recall, one of the reasons I installed it, so I have some utility as a, as a highway peg. So let me see if it actually... It's a bit high, but it's good. It looks very good. That's it guys, it was a simple, a simple install, it took me time because I was working alone. Easier if you do with uh, another person, just the hanging part of the bars, getting the, you know, the engine guard, fitting it. Otherwise it's easy, a lot of patience and you get it done. That's it guys. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift till the next video guys. Peace out. Oh, this is pretty fun. You think it's so easy to be so handsome, such a YouTube star like me? <laughs> anyway, take a look. I just shot a whole sequence, and then when I get back to the editing room, I realize that I had... Take a look. See if you can figure out yourself. Hey, let me stop you for a second. See that tour pack, the Advan Black tour pack? Well, I'm giving one out. There's a raffle going on right now. Go to my website, www.holyshift.us, and buy any piece of merch, anything you buy, a sticker, a shirt, a hat, whatever you buy, you're immediately entered into the...